All right, so this video is pretty quick. I am hyped as hell for this Batman thing. This is the new movie, The Batman, looks freaking awesome. I've been excited for this ever since I heard about it, that we're getting a new movie that wasn't Ben Affleck like Batman. Don't get me wrong, I liked Ben Affleck like Batman, but my God, does this look awesome. I'm really excited to see Robert Patterson in the role. So I figured I'd go over the trailer with you guys and then uh, really quickly just tell you exactly what I'm excited for for this movie. So yeah, let's get into it. Also, sorry about the hair, making this right after I just watched the trailer. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna do it again. It's, it's okay, I can watch this trailer a million times over. Let's get started. All right, so here we go. Also, sorry if you can hear the speakers go. Uh, I don't have my headset with me right now. So it starts out with tape. The noise of tape, and then this dude. I have no idea who this is supposed to be, not gonna lie. My first thought when I watched it was, is this Batman's new design? But apparently not, because no more lies were written on it. Uh, so I have no idea who this is. From your secret friend. I love the music. It's great. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be James Gordon, just by the glasses, the trench coat, the tie, the stash. Pretty, you know, James gordon -y stuff. And I love this part here where, like, you see the boots and stuff walk over. And, like, you can say it's Batman, but also you saw Jim wearing a long coat. So it was like, well, is this just Jim, maybe, instead of Batman? Uh, raises a question on if they're working together, do they know each other? And then you see this next scene here. Well, not this one. Comes out right after it. Hold on a second. I want to read what that card said. So I'm going to skip back five seconds. Press play. Lies. Not going to bother reading the papers. Haven't a clue. Let's play a game. Just me and you. So I'm pretty sure this is from the Riddler, obviously. I don't know if the Riddler was the dude with the tape on his head uh, or not. All right. And then right here you see the outline of Batman, and it confirms that he's working with the police. And I like that. That's awesome. To the Batman. And my God, look at the suit. Okay, I'm a really big fan of this suit. I'm not gonna lie, I love the really thin bat symbol. It's not like the giant and like flashy yellow one from Michael Keaton. It's not like the really faint one that you do get to see more and more of in the uh, what's it called Christian Bale movies. I don't know, I couldn't think of that for a second. But I love the tactical armor look of it. It doesn't look too crazy out there. I love the cape. I love the cow. The cow looks freaking awesome. Uh, I like the eyes. They're pale, but you can still kind of see it, but it also gives it sort of an otherworldly thing. I hope they go white eventually, because uh, then that would be pretty cool to see. Uh, and I like how the cape sort of comes up on his neck a bit. It just, it looks cool. I like this suit. I have a feeling I'm really going to like this Batman. And then right there, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the Riddler, or either another villain. Who knows? And then here's the reveal of Bruce Wayne. Right there, I don't know if you saw that. Hold on a second, I'll let it get there again and pause it. Right there, Robert Pattinson is Bruce Wayne. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can't wait to see him in the role. Uh, <laughs> does he really look like the normal type of Bruce Wayne? Uh, don't really know. In the movies, Bruce Wayne always looks really different from each in interpretation. Uh, I would say the closest dude who ever looked closest like Bruce Wayne was either... Uh, George Clooney or Ben Affleck. So, I mean, everyone has their preferences on how Batman and Bruce Wayne should look. I'm fine with this. Uh, a lot of people was worried about Robert Pattinson's choice, but the more and more I see of this movie, and the more and more I've seen of his acting, I'm not worried at all. This dude is phenomenal at acting. We see the car go by with Bat, and then this dude has a bomb or something duct taped to him. Oh, and here is Catwoman. She's just a cat burglar. Oh. Don't mean to do that. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm not sure if this movie has the Joker in it or not. I'm pretty sure it won't, but I do like the fact that there's people with, like, you know, clown makeup and then that on there. Could be hinting at it. Could not be. Who knows? We see the cow. We see Batman fighting with the police and Jim Gordon pushing him back. There's Catwoman and him fighting. And so this is Catwoman's design and... I'm not too happy about the design, but it does feel pretty realistic for her. Uh, it's a lot better than Anne Hathaway's design, which was just the, like, like the little mask that pointed up a bit. Ugh. Honestly, I would have taken Ju like, what's her name? Julie Newmar? No. I think that's it. She the Catwoman from the 60s show. Um, 
she had a better Catwoman outfit than friggin' uh, Anne Hathaway did in that. And that's probably not Anne Hathaway's fault. Now this version, the ski mask kind of points up just a bit to look like ears, and then you got the giant cutout. Although the point of a ski mask is to hide a lot of the face, and she's just not, so if she gets caught on camera, she, she might get identified. I don't know who's actually playing her. I'll have to look that up. But I like her fighting style. And there's that, Jesus, that dude just sent Batman flying back with a burst. Oh, and here's the people with the clown makeup on and the smiles, which make me think the Joker might be involved, or might be hinting at him. Who knows? We don't know what universe this is in. It's a separate universe, although I would like to see it connected to the Joker movie. I think that's pretty cool because that's a cool starting point for the Joker. Would I like to see Joaquin Phoenix return as Joker? Eh, he was pretty good. So, yeah, if they get him again, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, although, I honestly like the theory, not the theory, but the one thing where people are like, we should get William Defoe to play the Joker as an older version, because I love William Defoe. I think he's great at playing crazy, unhinged characters. It's just great. Oh, yes, here we go. So, we, we just see the look of fear on that dude's face and how brutally Batman just kicked his ass right there like my god it's not like uh ben affleck's batman who took out like what was it 20 25 people in like five seconds which don't get me wrong that's some batman could do but i do like this version of him just brutally being them down and these dudes just being like what the hell yeah you can see him worried and then the line i'm vengeance oh dude that's great I love that. And we see the back burner or thruster peer up of what is the Batmobile. And I gotta say, hold on. I love this design of the Batmobile, man. Absolutely love it. I know a lot of people really like the Tumblr looks and stuff uh, from the uh, Christian Bale movies. I didn't. I've never liked the Tumblr look. I don't like the tank look. For me, the Batmobile, its main thing is transportation. And it's gotta look cool. And the Tumblr never looked cool to me. It just looked like a tank. And Batman doesn't need a tank. This looks like something Batman would drive. Just this, like, I love the design of it. I love how the wings sort of tip up like this at the end, kind of like the 1966 Batmobile did. It's just great. I love that it's all black and you get the blue fl uh, flame coming out of it. It just, it looks like what a Batmobile should. And I'm really excited to see more of it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's just essentially a sports car. And then you got these nice bright yellow lights. Oh, him using the grappling hook there, following whoever the heck this dude is. And here we get the title. The Batman, in all red and black. And I love it. I love this look, actually. The more I've thought about it, I like this version of Robert Patterson's Batman already, just for the stuff he's got on the other eye. It just, it looks like something's taking a toll on him, and he's just kind of going like, what is happening? What is crazy? Why am I part of this? What's going on? I have no idea. He has no idea. I think it's going to be a fun movie to watch. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the trailer. It just cuts out with this question mark, question mark, one. Which I guess the question marks are supposed to be 20s. So 2021, we're looking forward to this movie coming out next year. Really wish it would come out this year. Not going to lie. I need more movies, man. I need more movies. But I cannot wait for this movie regardless. I hope we get an official, like, solid release date for this movie. Whether or not it's digital or... In theater, I don't care at this point. I just want to watch this movie. It looks great. And I have no worries about this movie whatsoever. I I like the style, the look. The trailer makes me really hyped for it. Just hurry up and get out, man. That's all I can say. Holy crap, is it great. Um, sorry about this. I don't normally do reaction videos like this, but... Man, did this just deserve it. Today has been awesome with DC fandom. Um, just being released. And it's great. It's just great. By the time this gets out, it'll probably be tomorrow, around 1 or something in the morning. I'm sorry for the late release. Uh, yeah. My God! Huh. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. My name has been Austin Smith or Super Mega Smith. If you enjoyed this video, uh, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, just let me know what you think of the movie. How, are you excited for it as I am? Because I know I am hella excited. Yes, I used hella. I don't know why I did that. I gotta go now before I continue embarrassing myself. I am Batman. Goodbye.